The animal kingdom is a place of endless fascination and wonder, but when it comes to mating, things get really wild. Sometimes in ways that defy all logic. Imagine love stories where battles to the death are common, where suitors must dance to impress, or where the mating act itself is a life and death gamble. From aggressive showdowns to jaw-dropping acrobatics, these rituals might just make your head spin. In this video, we're diving deep into the top 10 strangest animal mating behaviors, where each moment is more bizarre and captivating than the last. Elephant mating. Let's kick things off with the gentle giants of Africa, the elephants. These majestic creatures reach sexual maturity at around 12 to 15 years for males and slightly earlier for females. But when it's time to find a mate, the gentle demeanor of the male elephant takes a backseat. Males enter a period called must where testosterone levels skyrocket, turning them into aggressive and territorial beasts. The stakes are high and the competition is fierce. A female ready to mate will announce her availability with a high-pitched call, drawing males from far and wide. The males respond with elaborate displays, trunks intertwining, caressing, and gentle touches. If she approves, she'll lift her tail, signaling it's game on. The mating might last a few seconds or several minutes, but for the male, the challenge isn't over yet. He must stay close to his mate, fending off any rivals who dare to approach. Black Mamba Mating Next up, we slither into the world of the Black Mamba, a snake whose mating season is as deadly as it is short. When spring and summer roll around, male mambas start their search for a mate, but finding a female isn't the only challenge, they have to fight for her, literally. These battles between males can be lethal, with powerful strikes and venomous bites that could spell death for the loser. The victorious male claims his prize, but the actual mating is shockingly brief, just a few seconds. Afterward, the male vanishes, leaving the female to lay her eggs and fend for them alone. Giraffe mating Giraffes might be known for their long necks and graceful stride, but their mating rituals are anything but gentle. Male giraffes engage in a behavior known as necking where they use their massive necks as weapons, swinging them like battering rams at rivals. This intense combat determines who gets to mate, and it's a sight to behold. Once dominance is established, the victorious male won't let the female out of his sight, sometimes following her for days until she consents to mate. Interestingly, male giraffes have also been observed engaging in homosexual mounting, a behavior that hints at the complex social dynamics within their herds. Crocodile mating Dive into the murky waters with crocodiles, where mating is as intense as the reptiles themselves. Typically, this occurs during the dry season, when water levels drop and opportunities to impress a mate become more concentrated. The male crocodile initiates courtship by rubbing his snout and head against the female, a gentle prelude to what can quickly become a violent struggle. If she's interested, she'll allow him to mount her from behind, with the act sometimes lasting over an hour. The temperature of their nest then plays a crucial role. Warmer temperatures favor male hatchlings, while cooler conditions produce females, a unique twist that shows how crocodiles control their population dynamics. Jackal mating In the world of jackals, romance is a careful dance of submission and dominance. During the breeding season, male jackals approach females with a humble posture, licking and nuzzling them to start the mating process. The female might play hard to get at first, resisting his advances, but persistence usually wins out. Once she's ready, mating can last from a few minutes to several hours, thanks to a unique phenomenon called coital tie, where the female locks her genitalia around the male's organ to ensure sperm transfer. This close bond is further reinforced through mutual grooming and scent marking, a ritual that solidifies their partnership. Warthog mating Warthogs may seem like the comic relief of the savanna, but their mating habits are a serious business. Males start the process with a chorus of grunts and chatters, sometimes following females for hours, or even days, until they allow mating to occur. But there's a twist, war thogs have a fascinating adaptation called delayed implantation, where the fertilized egg doesn't immediately implant in the uterus. Instead, it floats around for months, giving the female the flexibility to time the birth of her young with optimal environmental conditions. This strategic delay ensures that their offspring are born when survival chances are highest. Mountain Lion Mating Mountain lions, or cougars, are solitary creatures, only coming together during the mating season, which typically occurs from December to March, 
peaking in January and February. During this period, males roam vast distances, driven by the scent marks and vocalizations of receptive females. To establish dominance and attract a mate, male mountain lions leave behind scent marks by urinating and scratching trees, signaling their presence to potential mates and rivals alike. However, the ultimate choice of mate lies with the female, who typically selects the strongest, most dominant male. Once mating is successful, the pair separates, and the male moves on to find other females. Unlike many species, male mountain lions do not participate in raising the offspring. The female, left alone, will fiercely protect and nurture her cubs until they are ready to survive on their own. Ant mating In the intricate world of ants, mating is a highly selective and competitive process. The queen ant, the central figure in the colony, releases a powerful pheromone, a scent that drives male ants from far and wide into a frenzy as they seek the opportunity to mate with her. These males, known as drones, are typically larger and their entire purpose in life culminates in this moment. But first, they must survive the gauntlet. The colony's worker ants initially see these suitors as intruders, even prey. Only the fittest make it to the queen, where they'll mate in the royal chamber. Yet their moment of glory is short-lived after mating. The male ant meets his end, but not before securing the future of the colony by fathering millions of offspring. Honeybee mating? In the world of honeybees, mating is literally a life and death affair. Drones, the male bees, get only one chance to mate with the queen. When the queen leaves the hive to find partners, eager drones swarm around her. The bravest and fastest among them succeed in mating midair, but there's a fatal cost. After mating, the drone's reproductive organ ruptures, leaving part of it inside the queen, and the drone falls to the ground, dying shortly after. Despite the grim fate of their predecessors, the competition among drones continues fiercely until the queen has mated with multiple partners, ensuring genetic diversity within the hive. Nubian Ibex Mating In the rugged landscapes of the Middle East, Nubian Ibexes engage in fierce battles during mating season. Males guard vital water pools where females come to drink, fighting off rivals with powerful headbutts. These battles can last up to an hour and sometimes a third male joins in, making victory even harder. But if a predator approaches, the fighting ceases as survival takes precedence. These intense confrontations are crucial for the males, who stop at nothing to secure their chance to mate and pass on their genes to the next generation. From the gentle giants of the savanna to the deadly embrace of the black mamba, these creatures show us that love in the wild is anything but simple. But one thing is clear, when it comes to passing on genes, no challenge is too great, no ritual too strange. Nature always finds a way.